Hello and welcome to my Let's Play on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Things are looking up for me at the, the moment because I now have my paraglider back, which I was desperately lacking for all of the other episodes <laughs> leading up to this one. Uh, I don't have much stamina yet, so I can't fly too far, but I can at least fly. And hello, oh, there's a there's a Rito. Oh, are you a Rito? I thought you were from the back. I'm sorry, I may have mistaken you, but you look different from the front. Who are you? It's Pen. Wow, look at this. You're the one I saw flying around the sky. It's great to meet the first one to ever be launched from the Skyview Tower. A real historic moment. Hey, what's your name? Link, you say? Hold on there, really? Your name's Link? Hey, buddy, you've got the same name as that famous swordsman. Ha, huh, good for you. Pretty big name to live up to, though. I'm Pen. By the way, I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm writing an article about this uh, article about this event, so folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Towers being activated. I'd better get to work. Our newspaper is short on staff, and I've had to flap all over the place to cover the news. Hey, we could use another special reporter. You should join us. Seem like a brave type and all. That's what it takes. Our newspaper is based in Hebra, to the northwest. You'll find it near the bridge that leads to uh, Rito Village. Uh, stop by if you're in for an adventure of a lifetime in the newspaper biz. Until then, so long. Do you get it? Like so long, but so long. Very good. Very, very good. Congratulations. Let's all stop and do a uh, round of applause for uh, the writers at Nintendo. Uh, so it's just, they said it's like Northwest. That's kind of where it was in Breath of the Wild. Let me just do like a stamp. Just to say like, go there first because there's like a few main ways that I can head to. Um, where they kind of marked on my map. Although they're not marked on my map anymore, which is strange. Oh, maybe it's not my active quest. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's just say to head that way first. Uh, but yeah, my plan was, so I need to go down a chasm because I want to get my uh, camera activated. Uh, but first I wanted to, I just wanted to do a few more shrines. One, because I just want to do them anyway, because they're really fun. Uh, and then also uh, I wanted to, um, sorry, one sec. Oh yeah, I was going to look to where the next tower is. Oh, right, look, see that island? There's like a tiny little island right there. Let's, so let's make sure I can get far away too. So as I said, I don't have much stamina, so it's hard for me to reach too far. But yeah, I wanted to do just a few shrines just to try and get my um, heart containers up if I can. Uh, at least uh, at least like up by one, just because uh, they were saying about like the, the foes being down in the, the depths, uh, which are where I need to head down to to do a, a little bit of research. Uh, should, will I be able to make it to that island? It's, it's really like, it's really hard to judge the actual distance. I keep dropping, I think I'm going to go too far. And then I go down and I'm actually like quite close to it. You know, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. Because I need to make sure if I don't make it, I will have enough stamina to make it down to the ground. Okay, this might end well. Oh, I can see, oh, there's a chest on it. Oh, come on. Yes, yes, I've got it. Oh, I've got it. And there's no- I was so sure there'd be enemies up here as well, but there's no enemies. <laughs> okay, just about enough stamina to make it to this, uh, this chest here. Ooh, large, uh, zoni charge. A zoni charge with massive energy stored within, uh, put it in a zoni device dispenser, or use it to temporarily prevent zoni energy cell from losing power. Okay, cool. So I really need to get the, uh, the capsule. Th Are they called capsules? What are they called? Uh, oh, crystallized chargers. I need a hundred of those, uh, to properly upgrade it. But for now, uh, let's go and head to, towards this tower. Then we can get that filled in. And then we can maybe try and do some more shrines in the area. For example, this one down here. I have now, though, run out of markers. So I guess I've got, a, <laughs> I've got enough shrines <laughs> marked. But marking them and completing them are two very different things, apparently. <laughs> if I keep marking them but not completing many of them. But let's, see, let's see, if we can get, uh, see if we can get four of them done today. I've been getting through them pretty quick, so I reckon I can do that. And there's also one... Uh, right in front of me there. So let's go do this one first. Oh no, I've run into this guy again. He's trying to <laughs> support another one of these. So last time I was able to build a thing by the side, but there's not really um room for me to to do that here. What do I um what do I have in my capsules? I mean, could I could I do like a fan that would hold up? Look, if I if I if I can, this probably won't work. But it's a, it'll be a fun thing to try out. If I do a log with a fan either... Actually, no, well, it won't stay up forever. I guess it doesn't need to stay up forever because... Like, it just needs to be long enough for him to attach things to properly. So I might be wasting my a couple of my fans here. But I, I got a few of them, so it's okay. Oh, okay, I didn't mean to do three. But, oh well, we have a 
spare one for if this goes wrong, I can try and build something. So look, let's attach these. They've got to make sure they're exactly level. And then if I did this so it's underneath and then set the fans going, it could be holding it up for maybe just long enough for... Oh, no, no, no. Come back. Uh, yeah, just long enough for him to be able to um, attach the uh, the sign down properly. That's, uh, that's my plan anyway. All right, so this will go... Here. No. Okay. <laughs> this is this is the problem with my plan. Oh, let's see if let's see if I can get like a um. Is that like a flat panel here? Because this could be handy. And oh, there's a chest there as well. This could be handy as just to use as like a like a launch pad. If I if this can like stay level underneath him, then I might be able to launch my thing off it. Aha! It's kind of staying there. I don't know if it's uh, if it's too small though. But we'll give this a go. Okay, it's held in place. Let's use an arrow so I don't knock it. That's going to send that going. Oh, why, why, why is it not flying? I, I, thought, I thought it would start flying. Okay. So wh why why are those fans? Do, does, it need, does it need another fan? Well, I guess I got, I've got the another fan here. I mean, surely like two fans should be enough to make that log fly, right? I'm not sure why it did not fly. Like, that actually seemed like it kind of should have worked, but didn't. All right, let's try- oh no, oh no, oh, I attached it to the thing underneath. Oh god, this, this is- this is all gone wrong. Right, let's- let's get this attached to the middle, and then let's- uh, let's see whether free fans will be uh, enough to- to launch it. All right, okay, let's put this in here. So I don't want to attach it to the thing underneath. It's just going to be resting on top of it. Then let's set all three of these fans go in. Once again, it's just not... They're not fly- why won't- why won't they fly? Oh dear. Oh god, god, I forgot that was an axe. That's so weird. What happens if I just try to set like... I don't know, I don't know what to do now, that's so... Like, I swear free fans could do more than like that before. Maybe not, maybe the log's just too heavy? I mean, what happens if I try just a fan by itself flying up? I mean, I might not be able to get it back. Oh yeah, the flan fans, the, uh, the flan? The fans are wrong. Oh, sorry, no. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. The fans are the wrong way around. Let me, try let me try the fan around and do it. I don't think that will work. Unless there's something, like, lighter I could put on the flan, but it's, like, a little bit wider than the fan would be helpful. Right, is the fan gonna fly it by itself? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's, uh, it's not very level. Although I did just have a an idea that if this works, this would be absolute genius. So, look, if I hold this here and just leave it so obviously it's not going to stay here forever and if i went to talk to him it would all drop down but i could use recall to rewind this so it then stays there hopefully for long enough for him to do the constructs so look now if i drop that and then i go to to recall and tell that to rewind there we go and then oh, oh i can't talk to him though oh why won't it, it won't let me talk to him Oh, that, that, see, that was almost, almost genius. <laughs> um, right then, maybe I could still use, oh, no, I don't mean to do that. Maybe I could still use this and just build a thing then to make it stay, seeing as the other uh, fans weren't working. Okay, so look, I've built this thing here. If I slot this in like that, <laughs> right, bear with me, then I just need to find something thin enough to go, actually, if I do another log and link it between the two, but slightly on this side, I think there might just be about enough room for me to, to squeeze that through. Hopefully I don't just make the whole thing fall down. I've got to be very gentle here. So that's it. If I go through there and then I touch it there... Ah! Oh no! Oh, why did it collapse? I had it then, and then it just fell down. Right, okay, so talk to him, talk to him, talk to him <laughs> before it all collapses, before it all falls over. <laughs> try, try and let it go. Try and let it go. Is this going to work? No. Ooh. Oh, no, it didn't work. Oh, wait. He, is he saying it does work? I guess it didn't fall completely over. 
Okay, I guess like, <laughs> I guess we're gonna count that. I mean, I guess what I could have done is just like stacked in another log underneath it to make it stay up more properly. But you know, if he if he's happy with that, if he thinks it's acceptable, then I guess um, <laughs> I guess I won't moan. And I can probably uh, reuse the um, the thing that I created uh, to to go get that chest as well. My little platform. I could go and grab that uh, as well. Oh no! The sign, the sign has stayed all wonky. I thought it might go, uh, go and do it uh, properly again, but it didn't. Right, if I take this platform, I could maybe just put it next to where that chest is, and then just use a ascend in order to to go through, and then that should get me right to where I need to be. Aha! Very good. Oh, what are these things though? Are these what I was meant to be using? What is it? It's like a big like spiky thing oh wait is it like is this showing me that it kind of like sticks in the wall oh yeah look i can go like inside and then it, like stays in okay so i guess that's probably what i'm meant to use i wonder while those things are there if i could um attach any of my weapons to them because that feels like that would be like a qu quite a good attack like a big pointy thing like that uh, but there we go my my method of getting the chest worked pretty well by itself if it will is it gonna let me open the chest do i need to be like slightly higher is it am i slightly too low why can i can i just kind of like climb up just a tiny bit and then it's gonna let me open it really am i gonna need to like stand on something at the the top uh let's just put um one of these things up there and see if I can just stand on that and that will consider me high enough to open the chest. Okay, there we go. I, I can open the, the chest now. I keep doing things in my, uh, my own way. So I got another large boost from uh, from that there. But right, yeah, let's break this off. Seeing as I didn't really need these for this now, do I, uh, do I have any uh, weapons that could you... Ah, this could use some, uh, some fusing. So let's go and uh, put that on there. And okay, that's a weird weapon. I've made like a weird like spiky thing. I like it though. It says it does 10 damage. That's uh, that's pretty good judging by the uh, the other weapons I got at the, the moment. Uh, but anyway, let's do the uh, the thing that we came here to, to do. And uh, let's see if we can uh, tackle this shrine. A fixed device it is called. Oh, it's using those those spiky things of which I just grabbed one of. Okay, at least it's not a combat shrine. You know what, rather than waiting for this to go the whole way round... Uh, well, let's let it go a little bit further so I can jump on it. If I do that and I get it to rewind, that might just be a little bit quicker. <laughs> it probably doesn't make much difference, but it's fun using my powers, so any excuse that I <laughs> that I could find to, to use them, I will use. Uh, right, what do we have going on here then? So we've got some locked doors either side. Uh, what happens if I hit these? Okay, I don't know what that did. Then we have a button. Which turns that around. Which has a target on. So I guess I need to get the ball to hit that target. And that seems to stay even when I'm off it. So what did this do? Is that what is that what made the ball drop? Is that opening one of the doors? What, what is this doing? Oh, it's turning a thing down there. Oh, do I have to like basically make like a like a baseball bat? Oh, there's a Careful of the uh, the big pit. Did not know there was a giant pit there <laughs> as I just took a tiny step forward. Look, from here you can't tell at all. It looks like there's just going to be floor there. <laughs> mm, but there isn't. Okay, so it looks like I need to make some sort of baseball bat to then swing that round to, to hit it. So these things seem they can just stick inside of stuff, right? So I can just go inside of that. Ah. Then, excuse me, can you stop? <laughs> that ball's really annoying. So yeah, if I put that there, and then there's some extra stuff here, so I'm assuming I might be able to put these on the end just to give me a bit more leverage to make it longer so I'll have a better chance of, uh, of hitting the ball. So if I attach that to the end there and then go and do the, the button, that might be enough to get it to work. So if I do it this way, it's going to be this side, and then I just need to time it to hopefully swing and hit the ball into it. Okay. Oh no! I, I lost one of my I lost one of my bits. <laughs> but it might be long enough with just that one there. I just it's just down to my timing now, to be honest, more than anything else. Right? If I go a bit earlier, okay, earlier still. So I need to remember, go earlier than you think you need to, because I keep doing it too late. So let's go now. Oh, perfect! 
Oh, and it's stuck on. <laughs> and that's opened up that doorway. But there's another... Oh, there's another... There's another one there. But obviously... So I first I'd need to hit it in that... So if I was down here and I hit it really late... Okay, so that hits it in that direction. But there's a big old thing <laughs> in my way here. So do I need... Well, do I need to just, like, pin it up? So if I grab this... And put that, like, in the middle up here. I guess I can do it, like, up in there. Actually, oh, I might be able to do it on this side here. Can I? Oh, I just can't reach it high enough. But I can do it in there like this if I go up now. So let's let's leave that there. And then, so if I shake this off, can I, can I spin this round? And then attach it to... Oh, the chains are kind of annoying. There we go. If I attach that like that then that should give me a clear shot. And then, <laughs> and now I think it's just going to come back down to my aim, unfortunately, because we saw how well that went <laughs> last time. Actually, I might be able to hit it from this side. If I do it as it goes down there, I just don't know, because it might always just go right off that edge. Yeah, I, th I think I do need to do it from down here, but do it way more last minute than I was before. If I go, like, here. Okay. Once again, I need to be a little bit earlier. There we go! And I get my little bonus. Oh, that's a fun one. You know what? That's been my favourite shrine so far, I reckon. And I got to play with those cool new spear things. I guess it's a way to attach things to, like, cliffs or any walls that there are just, like, in the, the landscape. Rather than, like, as it is at the moment with Ultra Hand, where you can only attach, like, physics-based objects to together. All right, then. I know I said I'm hoping to do four shrines today. Uh, looking at the time, we're probably not going to get that done. But let's uh, let's get the tower done and speed run to get at least one other shrine done. And I'll try my very, very best to not get too distracted on my journey and end up doing something else like I always do. I've uh, ended up getting into a little bit of a combat on my way up here. Oh, this is a great chance to use a uh, fire thing <laughs> just to <laughs> blow that guy all the way out of here. Oh yeah, a lot of people as well have been in the comments have been telling me to put the um to put like the the eyes. What they what they call they call like something eyes. Ah yeah, the keys eyeballs. If I put them on there, it becomes like a homing arrow. So you can see that, it just like home towards the enemy. That is pretty cool. Are they gonna- oh, oh, they've got like a big spiky thing. Oh, do you know what I can do? Do you know what I can do? I could recall it. So let's let it go further down. Then hopefully the enemies will try and follow after it. And then I can rewind it. And hopefully take- oh yes, I knocked him off the edge! I knocked him off the edge! They're like sliding down there. Uh, right, if I stop, is it gonna start going down again? Okay, no, it's not. It's okay. We're all right. At all, could I- Oh, I, I guess I couldn't fuse these onto my arrows. Could I fuse those onto my sword? I don't know if that is ever something that I would actually uh, want to do, though. So maybe we'll just leave that there. Oh, this is another good chance to uh, blow up these guys, though. So let's go grab the uh, the fire one. Like, the only problem is there's so much stuff. Is <laughs> You've got to scroll for so long to find the thing that you want. Like, it's fine because, like, it freezes time. So it's not like it's the, uh, the end of the, the world. But it does make uh, things just a little bit slow, doesn't it? Uh, right, let's, uh, let's use this weapon. Oh, there's like a big enemy up there. This might actually be a good excuse to use my Flux Core 1 Pounder uh, against uh, this guy up here. I could also maybe... Uh, oh, oh, God, okay, yeah, definitely time to, to use it because <laughs> I'm getting hurt big time here. Let's, uh, let's have something to, to eat. Uh, I don't need the energizing one. Let's just do that to, to get my health fully back up. I kind of want to make the most of those, um, those exploding barrels if I can. So I could pick it up and then move it over and then I could shoot at it and do a bunch of damage. There we go. That's the, uh, that's the way we should be doing this. Uh, then let's shoot this and let's do a, let's do a homey one. Like how homing is it? Oh, I think I did the wrong thing. I think I did the wings. You see like they kind of had the, the, the wings coming out. Uh, okay. I didn't realize just quite how en many enemies. <laughs> I was going to be facing here. Uh, maybe I know what I could do. I could try and put a. I could put a flame. Oh, if I can see, if I lure these guys down here, I can blow these ones up. Okay, this is a, a no-brainer. 
just like these guys here. I could try putting a flame emitter on my shield and uh, using that to attack a bunch of them. That could work pretty well. Right, let's go and uh, go and use this and try and blow up these guys. Oh, okay, I was a little bit too close, but you know what? I will uh, trade the damage I took uh, to to get the uh, the damage against them. I will not moan about that. And it would be great for them to try and roll this down at me again, because that would be another chance for me to roll it back up <laughs> to try and take them down. <laughs> would, uh, I think, work pretty well. Uh, yeah, let's, let's try putting a, uh, a flame emitter on my shield, because then I can go in and I can be blocking, but I can still do a, a bunch of damage. So I've only got three of these, so uh, I don't want to be wasting them. Uh, but I do have a pretty good shield right now. So let's put it on the shield, and then when I block... Aha! Yeah! So now when I block, it attacks them. It does use my energy... But it's going to be well worth doing. Oh no! I just, I just ran right into the the spike. Tell you what, let's uh, let's let's use this spike just to try and get this guy. <laughs> let's maybe just lift it up. Well, actually, if I once again, I could set it to roll down myself. Is it going to roll? I just need it to be a little bit further down. There we go. So, so this could. Oh, it's not rolling. Oh, that's a shame. So let's let's try my shield technique then on these guys. <laughs> that seems pretty effective, and then while they're burning, I can go and try and take them out with this. Which is doing good damage, but I wouldn't call it amazing damage. They're certainly doing more damage against me. You can see why I have made it a, a bit of a priority to go and do some of these shrines so I can boost up my heart containers, because uh, enemies are still doing a lot of damage against me at the, the moment, and I want to power up as fast as possible. Oh, 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 explosive barrels, explosive barrels. Now I have a good chance to try and set them all on fire. There we go. That was a nice chunk of damage. And you know what? He's kind of got blasted to another set of them. Oh, he might be a little bit too far away. Oh, the other enemies weren't. The other enemies were definitely in range of that. That worked well. So I've got my shield so I can set him on fire. Then I can start trying to, to hit him. Oh, the, the thing is badly damaged, but that means I can throw it and get another big chunk of, uh, of damage against him. And then let's, uh, let's use this weapon. Uh, I've, not, uh, I've not tried using this. Can I grab his weapon at all? Because that, be, that would be good if I could. It doesn't look like I can, though. So let's just try and set him on fire again. That is working really well. And then I can do a big attack against him there. Going to be ready to dodge here. Oh, no! He broke, he broke the shield. He broke the shield. Right, let's make sure we uh, equip another shield straight away. Oh, wait! Do I have another one? I've got, no, I've got another flame emitter shield. <laughs> it was working too well. Let's uh, carry on using it. I'm doing great damage against him here. I've got to get a good dodge in there. And then hit him in the bum. <laughs> and then uh, there we go. We were able to take him out. The uh, the boss bow coblin. They weren't in the Breath of the Wild. Uh, a large fang dropped by a boss bow coblin. Attach it to an arrow to increase attack power. Or stew it with a critter to make an elixir. Uh, I've also got a horn, which I could probably make a really powerful axe out of. And then i got some guts as well, which I guess is mainly for, um... Yeah, for making some elixirs and stuff. And a whole load of fruit as well was, uh, was my reward. That was a surprisingly difficult fight. I guess I went straight to, like, another region from, like, the first area. So maybe the game didn't expect I would, but... God, that was a, uh... That was a tough bout. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, let's let's go do the the tower now. This is like my uh, my reward after after doing all of that is I get to to go up the the tower and view the land from from above. Then, as I said, I'm going to try and fly to one more shrine. I want to do one last shrine uh, before we uh, before we end the episode here. <laughs> right. up we go again. Do you know what this sequence really reminds me of? It really reminds me of Wallace and Gromit. If any of you seen it, like when it's like the machines getting them ready, like in the morning or like when they're going to the car and all like the robots helping them out. Like that that's what that really reminded me of the first time and it just kind of re-reminded me uh, of it then. <laughs> Alright, very high. As I say, once again, you almost go too high up that it's very difficult to see the strides <laughs> because you're so incredibly high. They're just so far away. <laughs> But there's going to be another big chunk uh, of uh, of land, another big region, uh, completely filled in. God, it's very stylish, isn't it? I love the uh, the love the way this is done. Right. So what's this? Uh, what's this place called? Uh, I love the way they got the two maps. They got like the surface map and then like the the sky map, which are like two separate maps. But it does fill them both in. Obviously, there's a lot more on the the floor than the the sky maps. But I haven't really explored like many of the uh, the sky areas that much whatsoever so right are there any shrines i could easily fly to so there's some that i got marked but they were quite far away are there any that i will be able to spot now while i fall through the sky 
Okay, I have spotted one in a woodland, uh, not too far over in that direction. And oh, also one down there as well, but I've run out of pins. But tell you what, let's fly to the uh, that one there that I haven't marked in a pin, so I won't forget about it. Because the one that's marked, I know I will uh, do it eventually. And as I said, yeah, we'll do that one final shrine, and then we'll call it a day for today. Oh, I see a... Uh, I see someone having a little bit of trouble down there. And I know I, I said I wasn't going to get distracted, but I can't leave them on their own. Actually, I need to make sure I don't use my shield because I might accidentally set on fire the, uh, the person that's being attacked here. Which I guess if I just really face away, I should be alright. But is, are they actually in danger? Or are they part of the- what was the tribe called? Was that the Yiga tribe or something they were called? I'm a treasure hunter, you know. Uh, I take care of myself, blah, 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 blah. Back up, show my gratitude. And I got a pumpkin stew. Okay, she was just saying about that, um... There's a cave nearby here. With some, uh, some treasure in. So if I do see that, that would be worth marking it on the, the map. And I, once again, I said I wasn't going to get distracted, but... I mean, it's Zelda. You know how it happens. Is this a, is this a Korok here? I've not seen these things. Or is it just a weird flower? Oh! There's a little hole. <laughs> what is this thing? Oh! Do I do I need to blow it? Do you reckon? That is my guess. Alright, let's get my board, Guster. Aha! Is it a Korok or is it something else? My guess is it is a Korok. Oh, it just went in the land? Do I do I need to like guide it to somewhere like in particular? Do I do I just need to like catch it while it's in the air? Do you reckon? Is that what I need to do? Hmm. Let me try. Let me try jumping up and catching it rather than uh waiting until it's too low down. Right. If I try and grab it in the air there. Oh yeah. Okay. I do. Okay. And then I get the the Korok seed. Okay. That's good. I was saying in a previous episode that I was a little bit disappointed that so many of the uh. The Koroks uh, were like the same as the the previous game, but that one uh, that was a new one, so uh, that's quite exciting. Oh, it's a, it's another combat training one. Uh, all about throwing. I've already done like a throwing combat training one. I wonder if this is going to teach me something new then. This looks like the exact same setup as the uh, the last one. At least they're all like the training ones, like the combat ones. They are like more like little puzzles. Whereas in like the test of strength from Breath of the Wild, where they were all like basically the same, and it was just how much health <laughs> does the robot have? So you aim them, throw your weapon at the enemy. I guess it's going to be like dodging much faster than uh, than previously. Your other attacks are ineffective here, so ready yourself. So I guess it's throwing only is the uh, the way to go for this one. Right, let's go grab this then. That's obviously what they want me to use. Okay, is that it? Well done. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh so much. It's just like well done. <laughs> Jolly good. Thumbs up. Oh, we have to do it again. Uh, what's the enemy? Okay, so now it's going to start moving uh, back and forth. Yeah, I suppose this is exactly the same as one that I did before, but I was throwing like fire flowers or something at it rather than halberds. But I guess it. I guess I need to prove myself a little bit further. I guess I can get quite close. Was oh, that it? I took it out. Okay. Jolly good. Well, that's probably the most disappointing shrine in the world, but the rest of the, uh, <laughs> everything else that I did today uh, was uh, was fun. I definitely enjoyed that Korok uh, as well. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be the end of this episode here. So in the next episode, uh, we'll try and make sure we um, are able to, to get our health up, uh, and then we'll go down into the, uh, the depths and uh, see if we can uh, do a little bit of uh, research and take some pictures down there. So uh, that is going to be the end of this episode here. As I said, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!